Welcome to the France 24 debate. I'm Hala Mohideen. Well, this year, the humble bikini celebrates its 70th anniversary. But the once scandalous skimpy swimwear has an even more controversial rival today, the more modest burkini. The Islamic swimwear has provoked outcry in parts of France and even riots on a Corsican beach, resulting in three coastal cities banning the burkini from their beaches. So just what is France's problem with the burkini? Is this overzealous reaching on the part of the state? Or should women just accept the secular nature of the French Republic, show some skin and be done with it? Well, to discuss, I'm joined on set by Yasser Louati, a civil liberties activist. Welcome to you. And by Skype, Jacques Maynard, Member of Parliament for the Les Républicains Parties. Thank you uh, very much to you also for joining us this evening. And remember, you can take part at home uh, using the hashtag F24Debate. But first, what exactly is all the fuss about? Catherine Clifford explains. Not just fashionable swimwear for Muslim women who want to cover up on the beach. Some say the burkini goes against French secularist values, though it doesn't technically break the country's laws against religious wear because the face is left uncovered. The Corsican town of Cisco has become the third in France to ban the beach wear. Socialist Mayor Ange Pierre Vivoni said people there feel provoked by, quote, that sort of thing. He emphasized he's not targeting Muslims but wants to get rid of Islamist fundamentalists on the island, who he said have, quote, no business here. He called the ban necessary to protect all within the community as tensions rise. This after a brawl on a local beach over the weekend. Witnesses said it was sparked by a tourist who photographed a woman in a burkini, which the mayor denied. The mayor of Cannes was the first to ban the beach wear, calling it a symbol of extremist Islam. Then joined by the mayor of nearby Villeneuve-Loubet. I'd like us to stop distinguishing ourselves from one another to stop this clothing apartheid, which takes us outside the principles of the French Republic. This here is France. Following an appeal, a Nice court backed the ban, saying religious displays on the beach could increase tensions and put public order at risk. On Monday, the Minister for Women's Rights joined the debate. The bikini has a purpose to hide women's bodies, to hide women. This is deeply archaic. Determined not to be policed on their swimwear, several people have already been fined for breaking the ban since the end of July. Catherine Clifford reporting there. So France's burkini ban, a statement of secularism or a declaration of intolerance. Uh, yes, Luati, what are your thoughts? Uh, it is quite unfortunate that once again the bodies of women are once again battlefields for ideologies and nobody has asked the opinion of the women wearing the burkini. So we have seen so far four mayors, four white males, legislating against you know, specific women from minorities. For first, let's ask them what do they want. A second, as you can see, for example, in the city of Cannes, the mayor did not use any um, rule of law argument. He just said uh, good morality, uh, laïcité, and uh, French values. But my question is this. Do radical people, or as I heard in the, in the package, um, uh, fundamentalists, go swim in the beach? They uh, don't. Jacques Millard, uh, what would you say to this? Well, I say that uh, people should look how is the uh, spirit of France today. You cannot, uh, you know, ignore that in fact France has been attacked by radicals, Islamist terrorists. And this is in this frame that uh, what happened on some beaches has been judged and uh, felt as a provocation. This is something that people, when you are living in a country, you should abide, let's say, laws and habits. And I this is very strange. This is very strange that today, suddenly, on the beaches of France appears such bathing suits because as the Minister for Women Equality said, this is an archaic item to prove your identity as Muslims and to show it around even on the beaches. You see, when at the time in France, priests, sisters of the Catholic Church, when they go on the beaches, they are using only, you know, swimming suit as everyone. And suddenly we see people who are putting 
as a flag, their identity, their Muslim identity, in the face of other countrymen, that's something but which Monsieur is, Mayer, smells Monsieur Mayer, Monsieur Mayer, I'm sorry to interrupt, but it isn't illegal to be Muslim in France. Is it illegal this to... This is not the question. This is the wrong question that you just asked me. Everyone has the right to have his face. But there is a small difference by having a face, by going to pray whenever you like, whatever God you like. And secondly, in the daily life, to show to one your identity as Muslim, to show it around as a provocative manner. This but, is the case. But and is in it fact, I am the victim today because those people are just using, using this kind of swimming suite as an identity tag, as an identity marker to show, you know, with provocation, we are Muslim, we are going to abide our religious uh, laws and we ignore the laws of the French Republic. Yes, this it, is what is at stake. I can tell you that. It has nothing to do with, with the Muslim faith. It has to do with the way you behave in a country which is a secular state, which is a state which respects religions, okay. but cannot be bothered by okay. the other's religions. Monsieur Mier, Monsieur Mier, let me put the question to Yasser Luwati. Uh, th this is a secular country. There's no secret of the fact this is a secular country. Do you think there are groups who are trying to to poke the French constitution to see how far they can make it bend? Okay, politicians like Mr. Millard are living in a fantasy and are, you know, imposing no, the, their no, view no, on the I'm world. If, sir, you spoke, may I speak? Be polite, please. Gentlemen, please. Sir, Gentlemen, please. Sir, Monsieur Millard. be courteous. I'll let you speak. You let me speak. All right? Thank you. Okay, so we have... Okay, sir, I can shut the microphone. You can, if you want to fully bust on right, me, just go we, ahead. Miss uh, Lati, please, can, you, can, we, can we stick with the question? Is there an argument that some groups are trying to test the secular nation, nature of the French constitution? First, the secular nature of the state is challenged by no one. First, it is about the state being neutral, not people. That's for one thing. Second, Mr. Millard and the likes of his political party are imposing their fantasies about a Muslim invasion in France. Just listen how they spoke about Muslims, they live in a country. This is also their country. And there was no problem whatsoever with the Burkini because it has been in France for over a decade and it hasn't sparked a controversy until several right-wing politicians used it to again crack down on the individual freedom of Muslim. I'm not finished, please. When Mr. Millard, you know how funny, cites Mrs. Laurence Rossignol, the same woman who compared veiled Muslim women quote, to Negroes in favor of slavery. When you have, for example, Mr. Millard speaking about the secular state of France and the head of his political party, Nicolas Sarkozy, says, quote, France needs convinced Catholics who are not afraid to say what they are and what they believe in. So why should laicity be excessive against Muslims but be permissive against other people? These if people are, are playing a very me... dangerous game. They are playing with the Constitution okay, and okay, igniting okay, more okay. confrontation me, between communities in France. Please, let, let, me just, let me just come in there. Uh, Monsieur Millard, is there an argument that whenever the uh, argument for secularism is made, it's the Muslim communities who are targeted? We are not targeting the Muslim community. And what I have just heard is just pure insulting, you know, a whole country. Let me put one thing. This kind of swing bad has not been so popular in France in the past 10 years. This is not true. We just had any some attempts in the swimming pool uh, in Lille, where Madame Martin, uh, you know, Aubrey has tried to uh, give to give some special hours for Muslim women, and it has been a scandal because everyone goes on the basis of equality. So this this man who is just in front of me is just telling untruths. Secondly, it's not a question to tag any Muslim. It's a question that France has experienced, you know, radicalism and terrorists, and the French are fed up because those people are claiming they are Islamists. Right. Are Monsieur Mia, let, let me come in. Monsieur, Monsieur Mia, second, is there not a danger? Secondly, I, I do beg your pardon. Monsieur Mia, I'm not going to be interrupted by anyone. 
So I tell you one well, thing. Well, I rather hope you'd be interrupted by me. This is the way you behave in this country. This is the way you behave in this country. Okay, but let and me... this question of swimming pool has just appeared in a few months again with force. You know, there are many Muslims who say now today that the veil at school, that the burqa also is a tool which is like in a hedgeberg. It's in fact the will of uh, Monsieur Mia, let, I, I have to come in. I have to, I have to challenge you on this point. Let me challenge you on this point. You're talking about uh, radical Islam in connection with Muslims in general. Do you not risk stigmatizing Muslims on the whole? As we know, not all Muslims wear the veil. Not all Muslims would choose to wear a yeah, burkini. So is there not a danger? No, no, hold, Let no, me no, finish. No, no. The is there no, not no, no, a danger is... of linking, uh, of uh, stigmatizing the whole I population with the this argument? I am not the one who linked it. You are linking it. And those who call to be good Muslims and to uh, respect the laws of France are every day trying to implement, to enforce their own view on the question of living together. So don't stop this kind of almagating that we are targeting the Muslim. We are not targeting the Muslim. We are targeting those who want to implement their own laws, religious law in this country. And this kind of, uh, uh, you know, Burkini is a tool. It's a marker. It's a tie to implement their own yes, laws. This is a danger. There are, if I go to, you know, if I go to Iran, if you are a woman, okay. you have to let, respect okay. let's and have a veil on your head. Let, let, let's, so let, let's not France, bring in Iran. I do want to, I do to want men. to, I do want to bring up your point though, and he makes a serious point. There is now a situation of us versus them developing with this at a time where France has been more divided than ever before. Does the, the, the wearing of, of, of the burkini, the, the overt display of symbolism, not only risk breaking the law, but also help contribute to this fracturing of French society? It is quite surprising that the ones who fall victim of the polarization of French society, because politicians like Mr. Meyer have constantly targeted Muslims, don't forget the 2004 ban against the hijab in schools, 2009 against the full face veil, 2010 against the nannies, etc., the, 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 uh, the debate on, uh, on the headscarf in universities. So people want to exclude Muslims from every part of society become, because they become a bit too visible, but yet sure, but they, they blame the case, them for though. it. But that's not the case, though. The ban is on, and it's again, it's, it is respecting the secular nature of the country. The laws who were passed are, go against the, the, sp the spirit of the laicity of 1905. You cannot crack down on specific minorities while constantly using using laicity and uh, as and he as this gentleman uh, keeps talking sir can i talk uh, please asking for equal status um, is it no that's the point women. he's asking for the, this is the, the equal status so this applies not just to muslims but also to jews to, to any overt symbol no no, of uh, no no we have to you have to be honest for one point the new laicity as a theorized by mr francois barouin member of his political party and i quote to you is no longer about challenging the catholic faith because secularism won now it's about challenging the visibility of Muslims, I continue, he goes on saying, at some point, new laicity goes against human rights. So this is not me saying it, this is his political party using laicity as an ideological Anna, tool to, to crack down should, on individual freedoms. Should, uh, the second point, Mr. Millard, Mr. Millard speaks about Burkini showing up all of a sudden. Maybe Mr. Millard has been far too long away from the realities of French society because I live with everyday people and I have seen several times. As for a swimming pool, specific schedules for women, some women have asked for it in Lille, just as Jewish women in the city of Sarcelles are still benefiting from it. So why crack down on Muslims and be permissive for others? I and again, I'm asking for people to ask women what they want. I cannot accept this man to decide I on behalf of women and then say no, 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 these people have to just, apply But the it's law. not just Monsieur Miard deciding on behalf of women. You had the French uh, women. They right had the, you had had the uh, French uh, woman minister who's also come out against uh, the... Uh, the same woman who compared veiled Muslim women to, to Negroes in favor of slavery. No, we cannot... Please, yeah, people please, have please, a specific please, agenda. Please, please, but that wasn't please, the argument that she please. was using this morning. The argument Has anyone asked the opinion of these women? 
Well, I, no, we don't no, have a representative, sadly, and I'm afraid we don't have a representative. Nobody wants to see them and ask their opinion. Uh, Rose, but, however, but when you have, uh, j just just a second, Monsieur uh, Mignard, but it's, uh, uh, I mean, it, having these women covered up, forcing them to shield their bodies, I mean, it's uh, some women say they choose to do it, but when you're in a community and you're in, you have that peer pressure, are they really choosing? To wear the oppression of, of course, if they are oppressed to do it, that's illegal, completely unacceptable. But if they decide to wear it, aren't they? I think it's time we treat women like adults and Muslim women like this human beings. If they ask for something to do, they should but be they talked know. to. No, and no, if no, Mr. No, no, Miyar no, was really no, about no, women's no, rights, no, he wouldn't be among the top pressure. misogynist politicians in France. Right, let's let's uh, keep those accusations uh, to ourselves, uh, uh, Monsieur Miyar. Sorry to say that is dreaming and saying, you know, untruth, because we all know that the brotherhood they, they are, are, are really forcing those women. We have many examples of that. Sir, and I can uh, tell sir, you, I sir can there is not single, one France single study. Where, Give me the proof. I'm sorry, listen proofs, to me. Proofs, facts I'm and not proofs, not fantasy. Okay, okay gentlemen. that you are saying. You are speaking untruths. I'm very sorry. Sir, to no, tell coming you from that. you, I think I'm more truthful okay, than you are, sir. Right, gentlemen, I think we, we are going to have to leave it. Monsieur Mia, I'm very sorry to cut you off. This is all we have time for. But of course, the discussion will continue online. Monsieur Mia, I'm terribly sorry. The discussion continues online with the hashtag F24Debate. I'd like to thank my guests for that lively discussion. Yes, Luati, civil rights activist, and joining us via Skype, Jacques Mia, Member of Parliament with Les Républicains. And thanks to you at home for joining us. Do stay with us here on France 24. Lots more news coming up next.